We saw snow, additional snow piling in across the Sierra. All the snow that you see falling here was a part of our latest low pressure system. 2017 has gotten off to an epic and snowy start in the Sierra and the Cascades. Adding to the snowpack in the Sierra Nevada, some spots like what you see here, 11 and a half feet of snowpack. It's kind of mind boggling, isn't it? After another two to three feet of snowfall overnight, the snowpack is well over 10 feet. Houses are buried up here, cars are buried. The road is closed. How much water is stored in Earth's snow-covered regions? Stay cool. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. This is a Thor News presentation. Deal with it. Hit the button, baby. Thor News presents. Ladies and gentlemen, happy Easter. And I don't know of a better way to spend my Easter than to try and save lives. Because what I've done here is I have created an animated display of the situation we are in. Now, a few days ago, I put up a video saying, keep your eyes on the Shasta Dam. And when I did that, it was at 95%. And since then, it's ticked up one percentage tick to 96%. And you may say, hey, big deal, buddy. What is a 1% tick? Well, it's a whole lot if you're at 96%. Because that means you only got four ticks left Till total disaster. Now, I'm going to let this thing run a couple times, and you can watch it. We're going to watch it from April 1st until today, or yesterday, really, because that's all I have the data for, April 15th. So that's two weeks where California hasn't seen a lot of rain. And actually, I'm probably going to make a couple of videos today that are kind of like chapters leading up to a grand conclusion. I'm going to do something I've never done before. So bear with me if you can. So we're looking at like Trinity going up, Shasta going up, Oroville going up. I mean, when you think that, like look at the just blue line kind of ticking up and up. So in two weeks, we've seen the top three dams, the top northest dams, gain highly in percentage points. And remember, when they all start outflows, they're outflowing to somewhere south. And it was just, what, a month or two ago that Shasta had to start outflows for the first time in four or five years? So, at the beginning of the month, Trinity was at 89%. Now, Trinity is at 94% capacity. At the beginning of the month, Shasta was at 89% capacity. Now, Shasta is at 96% capacity. At the beginning of the month, Orville was at 76% capacity. Now is it 85% capacity. The Folsom Reservoir went from 60% to 73%. Melonez went from 76% to 79%. San Luis went down from 99% to 96%. Millerton went from 40% to 45%. And Penis, I, I, went, for, I went for the cheap joke. Very tense. I'm freaking out. I've been covering this for too long. And I can't believe that, like, me and five other guys on YouTube are the only people covering it regularly. Seriously. Well, I'm not counting the Sacramento Bee and the Mercury Times. But I think we get more eyeballs than they do. You know what I'm saying? It's just, everything's weird and this whole situation is weird. So Don Pedro went down. So maybe you can feel good about that. McClure went down. Pine Flat went down. The casting went up a tick. So that is the main purpose of this video. Is just to basically show you that we have had a rapid increase in capacity in the two weeks of April. And California has not had that much rain. Now, I'm not in California and have no plans to go back for years. But I'm still freaking out. Because it could be bad. It could be very bad. And so you have storms starting today in California, later tonight, and I got a message on my phone from the Weather Channel, special report. Yeah, precipitation in California and Oregon Sunday night will kick off wet weather lasting into Tuesday on the West Coast. They're saying into Tuesday, and now, I got this from the Weather Channel. Severe weather alert. A series of weak systems, asterisk, will bring periods of rain and mountain snow to Northern California today through Thursday. 
So these weak systems are going to bring rain from today through Thursday. Now AccuWeather was saying through Tuesday, and they're saying through Thursday. And if that wasn't enough, one of my favorite weather people, who is anonymous, why? Because if you want to talk seriously and honestly about the weather these days, you have to be a bit anonymous. Okay? So Cranky Weather Guy, who you can follow on Twitter at, at Cranky WX Guy, says, until some of this West Pacific action reaches us around starting April 20th. It's really one big lump of who cares weather continuing, meaning that there's not going to be a ton of wild weather until the 20th. So AccuWeather is saying that California is definitely getting rain until Tuesday the 18th. The Weather Channel is telling me that California is going to have rain until Thursday the 20th. And Cranky Weather Guy is telling me the next phase of significantly active weather for our April 20th and 30th period has reached the West Coast. So he's basically saying that this weather, which will end up on the East Coast, because for whatever reason, all the weather guys and weather ladies and weather channels seem to be really obsessed with the East Coast, even though you've got really bizarre situations going on in California, everybody talks, it's always East Coast, East Coast, East Coast. So I think what he's basically saying here is that all the storms that are going to be affecting the East Coast are just now starting to reach California. So he's basically saying they're going to have 10 days of wild weather because of the wild weather California's about to get. So he's basically saying starting today for 10 days, which will be about the 26th, that you can expect rain. Not much room to exit north, and we'll see the continued 30-day process of storm, cool, warm rinse, and repeat through the rest of the month. And if that wasn't crazy enough, they're talking about record-breaking heat in the West Coast coming up soon because our weather is acting wild and weird and wacky. It's like the sun was pregnant or my ex was inbound or is 67 degrees enough to melt snow, especially if you combined rain on top of that. And yes, the Shasta Dam is at 96% capacity. So, this doesn't look very good, man. And then even on here, you see the pink? The pink means tons of rain. Like, I mean, they almost never have pink in the rain parts. This is three-hour precipitation on the, tw on the 20th. So, definitely, if this thing is inbound for California, you better get to high ground. This makes me very tense. And I know... We were caught in between a battle between like science and religion. And I'm in the middle going, can everybody calm down? Remember, we're all Americans and brothers and sisters and earthlings together. But notice a lot of people making fun of Jesus and Christians and Easter or Phoenix Day where Jesus rises from the ashes. And it's like, yeah, man, can you can you back off for Easter? Just kind of let us have it. And then to make matters worse. Trump starts tweeting about war and the election and protest. It's like, dude, come on. Anywho, none of us are perfect, but just saying. Happy Easter. And um, I'm going to do a couple of these reports today. And then I'm going to make a grand conclusion. I made this piece of art. Okay, so yeah, but I got, you know, we got storms coming in. Like, why don't I pull up? Hey, this is total cloud water. Right? This is the total water in the clouds. And so this is the 16th, and we're just going to march forward. That's the 17th. Look at the one back here. That's the 18th. Oh, up here so you can see it better. That's the 19th. That's the 20th. See, the one I was talking about that was all pink with tons of rain? The one behind it's even bigger. So we only have data until 1 o'clock on the 21st, but with everything I've showed you here, does this make you feel comfortable? You know, like, the situation is not good. There's a lot of stories that I'll, I'll talk about in the next one. But I just want to say, God bless everyone. I love you all. And we can, if we can all find a way to work together, we can solve any problem. That is not happening. But that needs to happen. All right. Stay tuned for the next chapter in this crazy saga.
that will lead to a grand Thornews conclusion. All right. Peace out. God bless everyone. Talk to you very soon.